welcome to my channel. How are you? Oh, oh, I'm feeling very sassy today. I'm feeling very like, you know, Iris Atfell with these glasses on. You know, she's like my ultimate fashion icon. But I've actually got to take them off because I think it's actually, ref uh, you know, affecting the reflection or, you know, the lighting of my, my camera. I don't know why, but whatever. But hey guys, oh my God, can you believe Christmas is next week? Like when my manager told me Christmas is next week, I was like, what? Say what? Christmas next week already? Wow, I can't believe how fast it's come around. I do love this time of the year. I feel like it's a great, you know, time to kind of reflect, start to look back on, you know, the things you did accomplish, the things you didn't accomplish, and how you're gonna focus on the things you didn't accomplish in the new year. You know, I don't do the whole New Year's resolution thing because I feel like no one ever sticks to it. Set yourself good goals, set yourself good targets, and work towards it. You know, one of my one of my targets and one of my goals this year was to kind of start up, you know, my YouTube channel, which I have, and I I hope that it continues to grow. It continues to, you know, you know, blossom into an amazing, beautiful flower because it is my baby. So yeah, guys. Oh. So where do I begin? You know what, before I get into this video, let me not forget, remember to subscribe to my channel, guys. You know what you gotta do, you gotta hit that button below. Remember to follow me on Instagram, and remember to follow me on Snapchat too. Names are below as per huge. But guys, where do I start? This video is gonna be about some of the, the worst designer shoes i purchased. As you guys have probably gathered, I love designer heels, I love designer shoes, I really, really do. But sometimes I do make, you know, big mistakes. I'm too fast, that's what you call me. I'm too fast. Sometimes I just need to keep my hands in my pocket and keep my purse in my bag. It's not every day buy something you see on Instagram or buy something you see on social media. You know, sometimes you just gotta chill. I'm not Beyonce out here. I can't be buying a pair of shoes and only wearing them once or buying a pair of shoes and I can't walk in them, I can't even do anything with it. No. I can't. I need to be make sure I'm buying my shoes and I'm getting a very good wear of it. Getting my money's worth, if you know what I mean, right? And I just feel like some of these that some of these things that are some of these items, even some of these shoes that I purchase, are just big mistakes, and I really wish I didn't. So the first one I'm gonna start off with are these Oakley Golston shoes. Yeah, everyone was really hyped about them when they first came out because they were super dope. I saw them at Angela Simmons. I saw them um Eva Longore and I thought, oh my god, like these shoes are so pretty. I really, really do want them. No. Why the hell am I buying seven inch shoes when I know my ass can just about walk in five inches? I'm too fast. Why would I do that? Doesn't make any sense, guys. Like, come on. Look at these shoes. Really? Where was I going? Walking on stilts. Such a waste of money. I really wish I didn't buy them. And they're so uncomfortable as well. The front pinch like ridiculous. They're stupidly high. I've been trying to get rid of them for ages, but ain't nobody checking for these shoes no more. So they're just going to sit pretty on my shelf because, you know, ain't nobody checking for these shoes no more. Absolute waste of money. Not only that, the Palava to get them here. So it's an American-based company. For some odd reason, they don't ship to the UK. I don't know why, when you know you're going to have clients, you're going to have customers overseas, why wouldn't you want to ship overseas? But whatever. So because I was so desperate and so eager beaver to get these shoes, you know, a part, you know, to be part of my collection, I had to ask my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, who's based in Canada, to order the shoes from the States to Canada and send them from Canada to London. Now, in the process of her ordering them, you know, to Canada, she had to pay customs. Obviously, I have to fork that bill because these shoes have nothing to do with her. That was about an extra 100 pounds, 100 and something pounds. Then when they arrived in London, I also paid customs. So these shoes end up costing me a total of nearly 600 pounds when they actually were about 400. I was pissed, I was livid. So I was like, I spent this much money on a pair of shoes that I should never have brought in the first place. My big sister said to me, Uthma, you can't walk in these shoes, just leave them alone. I was like, no, I want them, I want them, I must get them. Now look, I only worn these shoes once and literally not out, because I can't wear them out. I wore them for a photo shoot of, you know, one of my photo shoots. And to even get to the location where the photo shoot was happening, I literally had to crawl. Can you imagine? And as soon as we was done, I took them off and I walked barefooted. Really? Absolutely regret buying these. So, but you know, anyone out there that likes designer shoes or anyone out there that hasn't, don't have designer shoes yet, but you aspire to get a pair of designer shoes, please buy shoes that are practical. Don't just be wasting money and be buying stuff because they look pretty. Actually buy a shoe that you can get a really good wear out of because what is the point of something sitting on your shelf and collecting dust? Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm like 
so bitter about purchasing these shoes. I, honestly, it really pisses me off when I think about it because they're absolutely a waste of money. Next pairs I'm going to show you are a pair of Christian Louboutins. I got quite a few loops to be honest with you, and I know I say all the time that I'm never going to buy them more anymore. I'm never going to buy them anymore. But but these two in particular. Oh my goodness, they're so uncomfortable. You know when a pair of shoes are so uncomfortable, your toe, it moulds. It moulds into the shape of the shoe when you remove your foot. Really? My goodness. And you know when you're walking, your ankles are shaking, then you would be tending to, to, to link one of your friends. You know, you'd be linking her arm because you know you can't walk, so you want to link her, be looking like you guys are doing linking, when really it's because you can't walk. Yeah, that's me, I'm that girl. You know, but I know I got time to be falling and, you know, bust my head, you know, that's why I had to hold on to someone. But these shoes, oh, waste of freaking money. Even though I managed to get a good, you know, wear out of them, I really do regret buying them because they're so uncomfortable. Like these, they're absolutely beautiful. I think they're so pretty. I love the detail of them and everything, but my goodness, I can't walk in these shoes. They hurt so much. They And you know, and it, you know it's not even the toe area that hurts. It's this part here. It's like, it's so difficult. To walk in, I feel like they're just so high. Why did I buy them? I don't know, I'm too fast. Imagine these as well. These blatantly weren't my size. You know, with leather, leather expands, you know, the more you wear it, it starts to stretch out. I got these in a half size bigger than what I usually wear. I should never have done that. These shoes are actually too big for me. You know, like when your foot kind of stops, it stops about here and I can't stand that when I see young ladies wearing heels and I can see like the shoes too big for them and imagine I'm one of them it doesn't make any sense I completely regret buying these shoes because they're too big for me and they pinch you know lubes we all know they're not comfortable shoes so I don't know why we do it you know we're not one of those celebrities where you know we're not we're not a celebrity even I should say when we were jumping out of our car into a venue and the car's waiting for us right outside we've got a walk to where we parked yeah why did I do it? I don't know. Absolute regret buying these, absolute waste of money. I've actually been trying to sell them, I've been trying to get rid of them, but again, nobody's checking. Well, no one's trying to give me the money I want, to be honest with you. Like, people are so cheeky on eBay. Someone offered me a hundred pounds, I was like, you're bad. This needs to be more than that. Come on. You know, so totally regret buying them, but it is what it is. Again, they're just going to be sitting on my shelf collecting dust because I can't walk in them. Now, the next pair I'm going to show you. Um, it's actually a pair of trainers are my Chanel trainers. Um, I actually love these trainers. I really do. The reason why I say these are a regret is because I felt like I got bumped. I really felt like I got bumped. I was conned. I was deceived. So I was in Vegas and um, I saw my mate try them on and I was like, oh my god, I want those trainers too. They're super, super amazing. And what a mistake. I end up spending more money on these trainers than I would have if I just purchased them in London. Really? Like, we, when we go to America, we get so full thinking, oh my god, it's so much cheaper. By the time they add tax, oh, it's, no, it really wasn't. These trainers were going for about 400 something pounds in London. I spent the equivalent of 600 pounds on these trainers. And as you can see, guys, I've hardly wore them again. You know, I do, I do love them. I think they're wicked pair of trainers. And they do pinch a little bit. They're not the most comfortable designer trainers I, I have. But I feel like I regret, the reason why I say I regret buying these because I felt like I was conned and I was bumped, you know. I could have got them for cheaper and, you know, everyone loves a bit of a bargain. If I know I can get something for, what, 100, 200 pounds cheaper, then of course I'm going to be screwing. I'm going to be pissed that I actually purchased them for more than what they're worth. But, again, um, they're all right. They're not too, too bad. They just pinch a little bit at the front, but apart from that, they are a wicked pair of trainers. So, guys, the moral of the story is, it's not... Everything you see, you do not have to buy, especially when it comes to designer items, because they're a bit pricey. So we have to be, or me especially, has to be a bit strategic when I'm buying these things. I can't just be buying things willy-nilly because, as I said before, I'm not Beyonce, you know? I need to be able to, you know, wear my shoes more than once and not allow them to be collecting dust. Then when I want to sell them, people are just telling me some ridiculous prices, especially when they've only been worn a few times, you know? But what can I do? But this is just a quick short video, guys. I hope you like it. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Names are below. Remember to hit that subscribe button, guys. And yeah, I definitely will do another video before Christmas. Um, I'll try and get a vlog done and I'll try and get a, a, a lookbook. I've done a lookbook the other day with my friend. It was an absolute disaster. Trust me, I wish I could actually show you some of the bloopers from that because it was an absolute disaster. So I'm going to have to film it again for you all. But yeah. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye. Tick, 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 tick,